three women are accused of giving heroin and fentanyl to another woman who overdosed and died. Two of those people are in custody, but police are still looking for the third. Westmoreland County Bureau Chief Ross Gadotti tells us about the charges they are facing now. Ross. All right, let's take a look at some video from just a few minutes ago. This would be Marsha Shearer, one of three women wanted. She's walking out of the Greensburg Police Headquarters on the way to her preliminary arraignment. We asked her about the charges she's facing. She said, just along for the ride. Like I mentioned before, she is one of three women who are believed to have brought a deadly batch of fentanyl-laced heroin into Greensburg. 41-year-old Janae Brown, 59-year-old Marsha Shearer, and 38-year-old Brittany Clark, all three women wanted by Greensburg police for allegedly dropping off a deadly delivery at 404 Harrison Avenue in Greensburg. Back in May, our officers received a call for a, a possible heroin overdose, so they responded to the scene and realized that there was a female there deceased. The woman found dead Roxanne Gongaware, killed by a powerful batch of fentanyl-laced heroin, street named Chucky. The victim's cell phone, the key to the case thus far. They started checking text messages and were able to link these three to the heroin that was brought into the city in which the female overdosed on. Investigators say Janae Brown of Scottdale and Marcia Shearer of Connellsville arranged to pick up the drug with the help of a woman named Brittany Clark out of Avalon. By afternoon, investigators had picked up Marcia Shearer and police in Georgia managed to find Brittany Clark. Tonight, Janae Brown remains a fugitive from justice. Our detectives started following the, the trail of it and which led to these three females now that we currently have arrest warrants for. We track these, we follow these cases and track them down to the very end. And anybody that's involved in bringing heroin into the city, we're, we're gonna follow through with it. No better evidence than what happened last week in Westmoreland County Courthouse. Marcus McGowan was convicted for giving a deadly batch of fentanyl, selling it to his own brother. His brother, of course, overdosed and died. He's facing up to 40 years in jail. Now, as for Janae Brown, she remains on the loose. If you know anything about her whereabouts, of course, Greensburg police want to hear from you. Reporting live in Greensburg, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News.